Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Nothing hiding in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, nothing. Sorry. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Back off, Krista. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not saying she intended to, but she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers? I mean, these days more than ever. Clem, honey, who is the man you've been talking to? It's okay, you're not in any trouble. We just need to know. I don't know, but he really seems nice. I think he wants to help us. Help us how? Clementine, what exactly have you told him? I told him that we were looking for my mom and dad and that they were in Savannah. He said he thinks he might know where to look for them. Have you told him anything else about us? Clementine, try to think. This is important. What else have you told him? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here.
Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? I thought I saw something outside the fence. Something or someone? Didn't get a good enough look. The way they move, though. Too fast to be a walker. Could it have been the guy that's been following us? The voice on the radio? I don't know. They didn't say anything. Just stood there, watching. Creepy as hell. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee thinks he might have seen someone out there spying on us. Maybe it's that goddamn bell ringer. Man, remember when walkers were what we were most afraid of? Those are starting to seem like the good old days. Well, the hell with this. I'm not gonna let whoever's out there keep us from getting our boat. We've holed up here long enough. I'm heading down to River Street. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it, it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you've pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you.